Matt D'Angelo here, and today what I'm going to be covering is how to install this new interactive development environment for Python. It's called Positron, and it is absolutely amazing. It's If you're familiar with VS Code or if you're coming from R and you're used to R Studio, it combines the best of both worlds, and we're going to see that today. So check this thing out. Before I show you how to install it and how to get up and running with it, uh, and, I, and before I show you what's coming later in the Learning Lab 94, what I'm working on right now, um, I want to show you kind of like high level some of the cool things you can do with it. So um, if, you've, if you're coming from R and you've used the R Studio um, IDE before, you're going to notice that you have now a plots section here. So this plots section actually includes all of my plots that I've made through my analysis. Um, here's an example. This is uh, just a static plot. Um, if I go down here and if I create an interactive plot here using Plotly, here, hold on one second. Here, PX line, let me run this. If I run this line of code right here, you can see I've got now an interactive plot in this plots panel. And it's just really easy to uh, get all of your plots in one place, do your visualizations, really good for doing interactive data analysis and data science. So uh, this is one of the things if you're um, coming from you know, any type of data science and you really want to get the best of both worlds with VS Code uh, and all of the extensions that VS Code offers and you want to be able to do data analysis, this uh, Positron may be a good option for you. Um, also, one of the cool things I love about this um, is it has the variable explorer right here. So these are all of my data, uh, so like Pandas data frames that I've created through my analysis over here. Um, and more on this analysis here that I'm doing in a second. I'm going to explain what's coming and how you, if you want to learn how to do this with me. Um, but first, this is cool. So, uh, for example, this DF, this is a data frame where I've merged all of our data, uh, all the data together. And you can see here, I can quickly explore each of these, um, like e every single column that's in that data frame. These are all the columns. I can see what the first few numbers are. I can see what type of data it is. This is MP64, uh, and it just allows us to explore our data much easier. So this is this is very cool. Um, it works with both Python and R, which is really exciting. Um, and now what I want to do is I want to show you um, what's coming and how to get set up for what's coming. So uh, I just introduced this new Positron IDE. I'm actually working on Learning Lab 94. This is a brand new learning lab and I'm going to do a full data science project. In this case, a sales forecast analysis. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the jumpstart in one of my courses, I, uh, my first Python course. I'm actually going to give you the code or I'm going to show you the code for this jumpstart and I'm going to extend it. Um, I'm going to upgrade it by using some new Python libraries. Um, and then I'm also going to add to it this next uh, stats forecast uh, stat, stats forecast analysis, which is going to uh, be a forecast uh, that you're going to be able to do on many different time series. Here's nine different time series that we're going to forecast. So that's what's coming, how to get set up for it. So if you're interested in what you've seen in this course, or if you want to join me for Le Learning Lab 94, it's in about a week. What I want to do is I want to help you get set up so you can take that learning lab with me. And here's how we're going to do it. So there's a link that I'm going to post here. It's this wiki link from Posit Dev Positron. And what you need to do is you need to get it, this Positron software installed on your computer. So if you have a Windows machine or a Mac or if you're on Linux, uh, I'm going to walk through and show you exactly how to do that. So this wiki gives you a ton of information about this Positron. Um, we're going to be working out of this home section, but there's other sections like the Data Explorer. Um, I'll be covering that in, in the um, upcoming Learning Lab. Um, I'll be also talking about some of this other stuff, like how to set up Python, how to do all that stuff. But um, in order to take that Learning Lab uh, initial first steps, what you want to do uh, is kind of walk down through this. Um, and uh, you want to install so this in section on installing Positron. Here's how easy it is. Uh, you just go to the releases page. So I'm going to click this. It's going to send me to releases. And then if you go to assets, all you do is you select for your particular uh, setup. So if you're using a Mac, you're going to select the .dmg file. That's this one. You're just going to click it. It'll download. If you're on Windows, select the .exe, the .exe file. Um, you, you'll select that right here. 
and it'll immediately start to download. And if you're on Linux, uh, you can of course do uh, .deb for a Debian, all right? And that will get you set up. Just run that. It's going to open up your uh, session, your first session of the Positron IDE. Uh, it's very cool. Um, and I'm going to explain all about it in much more depth than what I can do here in five minutes uh, through, <laughs> through this video here. So uh, last thing, uh, call to action for you guys. If you are, want to take this further and actually learn how to use Positron, and if you want to do a full data science project with me, um, upcoming in Learning Lab 94, I'm going to show you even more stuff than I could show you in this video, such as how to do a forecast with Nixla's stats forecast. We're going to extend what you're seeing here. I'm going to go through all of this code. It's like 300 plus lines of code. And we're, I'm going to demo out, most importantly, I'm going to demo out Positron, how to get you set up with doing your own data science projects all in, in Positron. So I'll include a link to uh, sign up. It's just a Zoom webinar. We're going to do it um, here in about a week. It's next Wednesday uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern. So I will see you there. I'll include a link in the video notes. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye.